miss me? <laughs> Morty, ladies and gentlemen, new shave today. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good and you're probably thinking, where in the hell have you been, dude? Well, yeah, I've been gone for like, it's almost two weeks today. So last week, I've got a lot to talk about in this one. So yeah, you guys haven't seen me in two flipping weeks. So I have been shaving, <clears throat> but last week my mom went on vacation and when my mom's on vacation, I don't like doing videos when she's here. My mom's old school, like, she gets weirded out that I'm, like, talking to a camera and making videos. And she's, my mom's the type of person that's, like, you gotta be careful on the internet because bad guys are gonna get you, even though she's got a cell phone, smartphone, and she's always on the internet as well. So don't be a hypocrite, mom. Anyways, yes, she was all gone last week. I still did a shave. Um, and I used this particular uh, DE razor. I had six days worth of growth, and then I used this razor. We're gonna talk about the razor. Gillette Bostonian razor. I did a Gillette or a Wismet DE blade in it. Six I had six days worth of growth, and I used PAA um, Hotel Cecil. Next cuts. That is not a mild razor to me. So this razor, I'm gonna be using it today for a third time, and I'm not think I'm gonna use it for again for a while because to me it's a, it's a pretty aggressive razor. It's not mild by all means. So then last week. At three days worth of growth, I used this soap, this razor, and the Lord Cool Blade. A little bit better, but I'm going to be using this razor again, probably for the last third last time for a while. Because to me, to me, your mileage may vary. It's this pretty aggressive razor, and we are rocking five days worth of growth. So yeah, I'm back. All right, so let's get into let's get into the brush. Brush we're going to be going with. We are going with my AKA Brushworks Barbie AP Shave Coat 26 millimeter cashmere knot. I thought this fit the uh, soap label and splash pretty well. Awesome Barbie brush, sparkly, glows in the dark. Very, very cool. Pink, yes, it's a nice, awesome, it's a straight up cool pink colored brush. Razor, what razor are we talking about? All right, this is the 1920s Gillette Bostonian New Improved and I got the case with it. Someone engraved their little niches in there, it's J-U-S. But this thing is, oh, it's cool though. Open it, it's like the Grave, di grave Digger Undertaker. Oh, got the power. So yeah, it's got its own case. See, it's beat up Bostonian Gillette. It's got the blade bank and it has the razor. Ooh, I was thinking about getting it replated, but I don't know because being an aggressive, really ra aggressive razor to me, I don't know if I want to get it pl plated or not because I, I probably wouldn't be grabbing for it and using it very much. But this is a 1920s Gillette Bostonian new improved uh gold so if i wanted to get it plated i would do the 24 karat gold on it it's got serial number in there You're not gonna be able to read it i'm not gonna read it it's a 1920 gillette bostonian made in usa trademark gillette so yes so i tried the wismet in it i tried the lord cool because the lord cool is a little bit milder i'm gonna try these I don't know how this is going to go today, if it's going to be a bloodbath or not. Gillette 7 o'clock flax. Black, black number one. Yeah, so last, like I said, my mom was on vacation last week. I don't like doing videos because I got to shut the door. I got to kind of be quiet. She's kind of, she's kind of nosy <laughs> listening into what I'm going, doing through. And yeah, she'd be like, I don't get it why you're shaving in front of a mirror talking to your friends. I got friends. Okay, cool. <laughs> So it's a lot easier if I just don't do it when she's here. Or she's not, I mean, when she's not here. Cause yeah, it's like walking on eggshells. And all I'm doing is making YouTube videos. Nothing bad, mom. Little, little does my mom know that I used to hang out with hackers eight hours a day on the computer. <laughs> yep, chat rooms, hackers, Yoville, Yo, Yo World. Yep, making patches, yeah. But yeah, I gotta watch out for the bad guys, mom. <laughs> okay, that's in there. Got that in there. All right. Now, soap we're going to be using. I did use this on Monday. Three days growth. Today's Saturday. Five days worth of growth. And it is 8.24 a.m. You guys want to see? I said I wasn't going to get any more HC and C because I saw it, smelt them all at the Razor Emporium. I wanted them. I'm like, no, I'm not going to buy any more. I'm like, man, I'm going to get more. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get every single one of them Razor Emporium has. But this is another one I got. I picked it up and I thought it smelled really damn good. It is... Collaboration, Hendrix Classics and Company, and Rich Man Shaving, Miami Nights. I'm in Miami, bitch. Yeah, it's got the metal -y label. Yeah, and it's got the back. I didn't drive to Razor Emporium. I just had them mail it to me. So, yeah, very, very cool Beacon Hotel. 
awesome. Yes, I've had this use this already. This was initially released on July 14th, and then it's a it's an homage to Versace Arrows Flame. So yeah, it's a hard soap. You can see I scooped it already because I did use it on Monday. Hard soap, you want to lather it right straight from the puck. Cool. I'm a, I'm a bowl lather today though. And then I'm gonna use the work phone. Because I am not gonna I'm not I'm not writing all that down. So let me read this to you guys. <clears throat> this fragrance is perfect for those hot summer days and Miami nights where a captivating fragrance unfolds with mandarin orange, black pepper, and an invigorating lemon. Chino, Chinoto, I'll put it right here. I don't know what that how to pronounce that correctly. Chinoto and rosemary dance in the air, creating a scent that's beyond compare. At the heart of this fragrance, pepper, geranium, and rose intertwine to create an experience that is simply divine. As the scent settles, the base notes arise, vanilla and tonka bean unfold, a sweet surprise. Texas cedar and sandalwood bring warmth and grace, patchouli and oak moss add an embracing depth. Together, all these elements combine to create a complex, complete, complete masterpiece. From top to bottom, an untold journey unfolds in this unforgettable scent. Brought to you by Pete Hendricks of Hendrickson Classic Company and Rich Hansen of Rich Man Shaving. So off the top, I get the bright citrus. I I get hit right. I get the orange and I get I get the lemon right off that, off the tub. And immediately right after that, it's like a cologne, like a nice cologne type scent. I've never smelled anything by Versace before. Versace, <laughs> Fosace. If you guys know the Friday movies, F O Sachi. Yeah. So I've never smelled anything by Versace before, but yeah, it's got it hits you bright, and then it's got a cologne, like a nice cologne type scent that's how i can describe it that's how it is i'm gonna load it up in the put it a bowl i can open that i shouldn't be even closing it because i'll be using it put it a bowl and i will be right back where's chris here he is i'm back all right wet the face almost two weeks it's a long time so yeah still been shaving though obviously yeah so what i'm going to pair this with uh pre-shave rise i'm going to be going with phoenix artisan accoutrements evil cube 2 this is the second evil cube this is actually phoenix lights i think it pairs pretty good with this first evil cube was fresco i got that one in the i got that in the shower actually it's almost gone fresco is a nice nice bright scent nice bright citrusy scent could have used that but i'm gonna use this instead evil cube number two yeah this is the second evil cube Two evil cubes. Yep. If you follow PAA, you would know that. But if you're new, obviously you wouldn't know that. Check out my other videos down below. Alrighty then. Can't find the Butterman. It's in the refrigerator, Eddie. Can't find the Butterman. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, orange, lemon, and a cologne. Like, it smells like an expensive high-end cologne to me. That's how I could describe it. Like an aqua de show or something like that. I'd have never used Versace. What is that? Versace Arrows Flame. I've never used Versace before. It smells like a good, nice cologne scent, though. It's nice. It's good. It's finally starting to cool off here in AZ. It's like under 100, I think. So, yeah. I know I always complain about the heat, but yeah, it's starting to cool off. We got a little overcast today. It feels really good. I think the AC came on like once this morning. That was it, and that's good. Anything 100 or below, I take it. Oh, yeah. This stuff's cool. Yeah, I did use this on Monday, so still giving you my straight review of how it is, though. No, I didn't use it. It's still the same of what I said. Ooh, yeah. So, I don't know if I told you guys. I had, movie-wise, I finished, I got Cobra Kai Season 5. I finished that in, like, two days. Really, really good. Now I gotta wait for when Season 6, whenever the heck that comes out. So, I haven't really been watching anything, just, like, Family Guy on TV and stuff. So, no new movies, nothing crazy. I did watch, I watched Fast X. That was pretty good. I, the, it, the way they ended Fast X is like, because I believe, I, I think, 
I think Fat, the Fast and Furious is supposed to end with um, Fast and Furious 11. So I think they've got one more movie and they're done with that franchise, hopefully. Heat up the razor. Elm on my fingers. Yeah, the way they ended Fast Dex is like, mm, don't know what the hell's going to happen. All right, pass number one, Gillette 7 o'clock black. 1920s Gillette Bostonian new improved, not a mild razor. Five days worth of growth. All right, here we go. Santa Claus right there. I can hear the feedback. I don't know if you guys could hear the feedback. Yeah, gone, gone, gone. Yeah, this is not a mild razor to me. Some of y'all out there has got really coarse hair and you may think it's a mild razor to you. Not to me. There's some of you out there that are crazy and think a Gillette red tip is a mild razor. <laughs> nope, not me. The Gillette red tip is not a mild razor to me. And neither is this. So if you're looking for something, I paid a hundred bucks, about a hundred bucks for this. It's got the blade bank, the case, and the razor. I imagine if you can, you could probably find just the razor by itself a lot cheaper. If you're looking for a more aggressive razor that's vintage, then go for it. Yeah, it's not a mild, not a mild razor to me. This will be my third use. And then I think I'm going to put it away for a bit. So when I was at the AZ Shavers meetup, I took this razor with me because I was going to have it replayed at Razor Emporium. And Matt, Matt knew right away. It's crazy. He's been in the business a long, long time. He's like, you paid about a hundred bucks for that, didn't you? Yeah. How do you know? He's like, come on. I know my razors, dude. He's like, yeah, I could, I could replay it for you if you want. Or... Try to be careful my problem area. You could find another one that's already replated. Maybe play the same thing. I don't know. Kind of glad I didn't get it replated because it's a, it's a pretty aggressive razor to me. And it's not something I'd be reaching for all the time. Save a little bit of money then. So it would be cool to get restored though, replated. Just to say you did replate it, and it looks like really awesome. But I thought that fit the hand, uh, I thought it fit the label pretty good. It's like this gold, and then you got the people down here with the gold. That's why I did it. That's why I used it in the uh, thumbnail. I think it matches pretty well. Always do matching stuffs. You guys know that. Yeah, this stuff smells good. It smells really good. And I can hear the heat hack. Actually got a delivery coming, so I don't think it's out for delivery yet, but my car, uh, I've got my radiator went out. I have hard to explain if you're not a car guy you won't understand i've got a 1991 honda crx si with a first generation type r integra swap in it you're like what integra acura integra type r that is my engine that's in my crx so when i'm trying to get parts for it i can't just say it's a 91 crx i have to actually know what the type of engine a lot of gsr parts work with type r parts as well so I ordered a radiator, or I got a radiator from AutoZone, and I got the 91 CRX radiator. Fits the car, doesn't fit the engine. All right, pass two. And I was thinking of ordering the 98, because uh, 1995, 1995 to 2001 Acura Integra are a lot of the same, Type R, GSR, whatever.
So I was looking at those radiators and I looked at what I have on my car now. It doesn't match. Damn it. So I was looking on, uh, pass number two. I was looking on forums and I was looking and there was guys talking about how you can take your CRX and you could put a 1990 to 1993 Acura Integra um, radiator in it. So I was looking that up on AutoZone and I noticed that that radiator looks similar to the one I have. So hopefully, hope and pray that's the right radiator and then I can get started fixing my radiator in my car. So yeah, little car stuff for you guys. For all you guys that are into cars and stuff, you gearheads. I have been working on cars ever since, shoot, backyard mechanic with my dad since I was five years old holding the uh, flashlight. Hold the flashlight, son. I start straight. Hey, I want the light right here. Okay, dad. So yeah, that's how I learned DIY, working on your own cars. If you could do it yourself and don't have to take it to a mechanic and have them gouge you, better do it that way. So yes, I am a backyard mechanic, but I am not professional. It's like if people ask, Oh, you know a lot about cars? I wouldn't say I know a lot about cars. All I know about cars is what I've been through. And if that's a lot, then I guess I know a lot. But I, to myself, especially with motor vehicles, I think you're always learning. So. Got that brass smell. I may know not a lot about cars, but I know what I've been through car-wise. I wouldn't say I know a lot, though. Hmm. Not a bad blade combination. This worked out a lot better than the last two shaves I did with this razor. I got one in there. Not bad. Nothing else? No. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. One there, one weeper. No other nicks, no cuts. I was a, that was a good shave compared to the last two I did with that razor. It's still an aggressive razor to me. I still would not consider that a mild razor to me. Your mileage may vary. All right, clean up and I'll be right back. Okay, back. Very close. Very, very efficient. Very, very sticky, smooth. One there, nothing here. Yeah, that's a pretty aggressive razor to me. To me. All right. Do you unblock? But that... Of the three shaves I used that razor with, that was the that would have been the best one compared to the last two I did. And that stings. Even on the Chiefs. Ooh, stings there. Yeah, that's a very, very efficient razor to me. I could not use that as a daily razor. You might like it, though. So if that interests you... Oh, yeah, that burns. It's very, very close. That interests you, go check out eBay. That's where I checked about mine. Razor Important might have one. It's just the Gillette New Improved. There's a, I think there's a bunch of different cases. I didn't do my research very good. I think there's a bunch of different cases for it. There's a Bostonian one. There's a different kind of case. There's like a silver plated one, I think. But it's a razor. It's the exact same razor in every single one of them. The exact same New Improved razor. I just call it the Bostonian razor. So... All right, what are we using? We're using matching Mr. Lawrence. Yes, Sensei. We are using from Hendrix Classics and Company with Rich Man Shaving, Miami Nights. Miami. Oh, it smells good. With the orange, citrus, and the cologne, yeah. Now the soap does smell a bit different from the splash, and that how usually how it always goes. I think it's easier to make a splash smell. I don't know, not an artesian. It's usually I think with the splash. Correct me if I'm wrong. The splash is easier to make a easier to make a scent with a splash than it is a soap. But that does smell good. It's bright. It's cologne-y. I get the pepper now. 
Yeah, it smells really good. I'm glad I got it. All right. <clears throat> Recap of what we used today. That cleaned up all right. Yeah, that was the best shave of the three that I used. I don't think I'm going to be busting out that razor again anytime soon. So recap of what we used today. We used from Hendrix Classics and Company, along with Rich Man Shaving, Miami Night Splash. PAA Allen Block with the dock. The Papa Doc had one. Also use AKA Brushworks Barbie Brushed AP Shave Coat 26mm Cashmere Knot. I'm a Bobby girl. Now that song's in your head. <laughs> also use my put it a bowl, whitish color, my go-to bowl. PA Galactic Intergalactic Pick. Also use pre-shave Phoenix Lights Evil Cube. Cube in a cube. The second evil cube out there. Oh, I picked that up later. We also use 1920s Gillette Bostonian. New improved. It's just a new improved razor. With a first use, throw it away, throw it on the drain. First use, Gillette 7 o'clock black. That actually worked from the last, best out of the last three shaves that I did with that razor. Third time's a charm, I guess. And star of the show today from Pete at Hendrix Classics and Company, along with Rich Man Shaving Miami Nights. Like I said, this came out July 14th. I'm late to getting it, but yeah. It's an homage to... Homage to Versace Arrows Flame. You can see how much I scooped. Not very much. That should last you quite a while. It is a hard soap. So for you want to do it from the tub, straight to your face, more power to you. It's your shave. Do it your way. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. That's it. That was a damn good one. That was a damn good one. Yeah, that was the best shave out of the three I used that razor. So, I'm going to be ending this video with something different. I'm not going to get into details and saying anything. There's a lot of bad stuff in the community, and there's a lot of good stuff in the community. So, with that, that being said, I'm actually going to be ending my video today, if you've made it this far. I'm going to be saying something that Douglas Smythe says at the end of every single one of his Facebook Live videos. Every single one of his videos, he always ends his video the same way. So I'm going to end my, end my, channel, end my video on my channel today. The way Douglas Mike does it. And what does Douglas Mike say? <clears throat> and remember, folks, be kind to each other because life is far too short and it's only shaving. It's it. That's it. It's only shaving. We're not rock stars. It's only shaving. So, yes. I'm going to, that's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to leave my channel at. Be kind to each other because life is far too short and it's only shaving. See you, ladies and gents, soon.